Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to Halo Talk. This is the second episode of Halo Talk. I uh, run every Sunday, and in this podcast, we discuss everything. Well, not we. I discuss everything Angels-related, and I give you guys updates on scores, standing players, along with my per- uh, my personal opinions on the team. So let's get started. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, I suggest you guys check that out first. Um, I air every Sunday, as I already said that. Okay, and let's start off by getting to the first game. Um, I mean, the game today, Angels-Mariners, last game of the three-game series. Jose Suarez started, and he did solid, but after that, it was kind of a train wreck. Nick Tropiano and Cody Allen were pretty awful. It was a pretty bad game all around. Uh, we lost 9-3, to three, and... I believe we lost that series. Uh, we won yesterday, but then lost on Friday. I should know this. Completely forgot. Um, I believe that we lost two out of three games. Okay, no, I have it right here. Let's check. Let's check out the last week of Angels baseball. Um, yeah, lost on Friday. Uh, I was there. I should have remembered that. One on Saturday. Great game on Saturday. I wasn't there though. I wasn't there uh, today either on Sunday. Lost on Sunday today. Um, All all in all, this last week hasn't been great for the Angels. Started off um, against the Cubs on the makeup day. Lost 8-1. And then versus the A's, lost 2 out of 3. And lost 2 out of 3 versus the Mariners. So it just hasn't been a great week for the Angels. Um, As of the scores... Other teams have scored lots of runs, and the pitching has just been pretty bad, as usual. Um, and so, yeah, so right now our record is at, we are 31 and 35, 13.5 games back in the division. So the division is pretty much out of reach, but, I mean, a second wild card spot is still realistic. There's no second team, there's no second team for wild card that's really jumped out of course the rays ha- are 40 and 24 which makes no sense how just insane they're doing the second the team for the second wild card spot right now is actually the rangers 34 and 30 so i mean still the second wild card spots up in the air the red Sox, if they don't pick it up which they probably will if they don't pick it up, then the Angels could definitely get in for the second wild card spot. Um, so yeah, that's the standing in the division. We're fourth in the division, which doesn't really matter now. We won't be fourth by the end of the year. Um, just been underperforming, just like other years. Um, but okay, I'm getting a little off topic. What I wanted to talk about right now is... Um, what a main topic I want to talk about in this video is uh, who should be all-stars on the Angels. Um, obviously, Mike Trout, right? Mike Trout's having an MVP season, as always. Um, I don't think anyone is in front of Mike Trout in the AL for MVP. Maybe George Springer, but probably not. I think Mike Trout is in the front for AL MVP voting. He's going to be the starting center fielder. And then Tommy LaStella... I don't think a lot of people know just how insane of a season he's been having. By far, he should be the starting second baseman. Um, he's uh, his average is three sixteen, OPS nine thirteen. He's had fourteen home runs, thirty eight RBIs. I mean, what a season so far he's had. He should obviously easily be an All Star this year. Everyone should be voting for him every day. Every time you guys remember, make sure to vote for him. You guys can vote uh, five times a day. So make sure you vote for Tommy LaStella. That He's more important to vote for because we know that Trout will get the votes. But Tommy LaStella, a lot of people don't know about him. Um, so those two should 100% be all-stars. The other two players I think could be all-stars is Ty Buttry and David Fletcher. Ty Buttry has been pretty amazing this year. His ERA is 1.74. 
um, it's that's pretty great. Whip one point oh nine seven. He's just doing. He's just having such a great year so far. He's, he has such a great future. This is only his second year in the MLB. He just has such a good future, um, and I think he could be an All Star. I actually have a giveaway on my Instagram for a Ty Butchery um, autograph sweet spot baseball. I'm not trying to like. I'm not using this as a chance to plug my Instagram or anything, but um, check out my Instagram at angels.vlogs if you want to enter a giveaway for a Ty Butchery autograph. Um, also check out my YouTube. I might as well just plug everything. My YouTube is Angels Vlogs. I go to almost every Angel game and I vlog uh, the game and my experiences. Um, it's pretty fun. And David Fletcher. So about David Fletcher being... I think he could be an all-star reserve. He's had kind of a bro breakout year too. 308 average. His OPS is about 0.8. Right now it says 0.797. So it's pretty much about 0.8. Which is actually pretty good. He's doing great. On base percentage, 363. Um, this guy is just great. It's only his second year also. Um, and he's just been pretty great for us so those I think those should be our four all-stars for this year I mean players like Simmons and Otani have had injuries Simmons is injured right now so he's probably I don't know how long he's going to be out but he might be out until the all-star game so he's not in for the all-star game Otani has not um, played enough also he's been out for a while so those aren't really all-stars um and yeah, so you got. I talked about our record, um, a few games under five hundred. Nothing special really to talk about um, in the performances of our team because we haven't been great at all. It's been a pretty mediocre week. Well, you know what? I didn't plan, but I do want to talk about is our yesterday. Uh, yesterday's game was actually pretty great. I believe won thirteen to two. Today, Tommy Lestella hit a home run. Um, which is pretty great. Uh, yesterday, let me try to find yesterday's game. It was just crazy. The whole team was hitting. Um, so that's definitely something to look up at. I should have prepared for, I should have prepared a little more for this podcast. Uh, I totally forgot how good of a game we had yesterday and I should be talking about it. Um, let me find it right here. Uh, what day was yesterday? Okay, Angels, Mariners. It was twelve to three. Uh, Kikuchi was pitching. We crushed off him. We actually hit back to back to back home runs. Uh, Trout, Otani, and La Stella. Uh, one, two, three. Just went back to back to back. Uh, pretty great. I actually missed that game. Um, I feel like the. The only games I miss are the games the Angels just do something amazing. That's honestly how it's felt. Other than today, I actually missed today also. Um, they didn't do good, but yesterday I decided to skip the game, and then they just do amazing when I'm not there. Maybe I should just miss every game for the rest of the season, because most of the time I miss the game, they just go off. Um, I was at all the other games too, and they weren't doing well. Cesar Pueo also had a two-run home run. So that's great. He's been he's been pretty great, Cesar Pueo. But there's probably not going to be a spot for him in the outfield. Pujols two-run single. Uh, Otani RBI double. Pueo RBI single. So yeah, the whole offense was here, was there on Saturday. Um, okay, so yeah, that was one good performance, something to look up at. Our offense is pretty much always performing. I mean, our offense is great, not always performing, like today. Offense can be sometimes inconsistent, but all in all, the offense is pr pretty great, pretty great. Um, so now what I want to talk about is uh, some players in rehab. Justin Upton, rehab in San Bernardino. I was there on Saturday. Um, he was one for two with a single with two RBIs. He was up twice with bases loaded. One time he struck out, and then one time he had a base hit. He also worked a walk, so pretty solid game for him. It was cool seeing him. 
uh, pretty much for the first time all year, other than spring training versus the Dodgers um, at Angel Stadium that one fateful day he uh, injured his toe or whatever. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be back soon, I believe, like a couple weeks away from coming back. And uh, Joe Adele. Joe Adele is, he just got back. He was he did play five games in San Bernardino, and now he's up on Mobile Bay Bears playing games there. So I don't know if he'll be up in the Angels this year. We'll just have to wait and see for that. Um, he's back from an injury, of course. He's been injured pretty much the whole season, but he's finally back too. Um, so yeah, this leads me to talk about the outfield situation. So, Upton and Adele should both be in the majors soon. Adele, maybe not this year, but he will be in soon. So, that leaves a lot of outfielders. Cesar Pueyo is also in outfield. This He's in the outfield right now. So, he's probably going to be gone. I'm pretty much assuming that he's going to be down in AAA or whatever. Um, the outfield right now are Trout, Calhoun, Goodwin, and Pueyo. Trout, Calhoun, and Goodwin, pretty much the starters. Uh, once Otani comes back, or Otani, once Upton comes back, he will take the left field spot, I'm assuming, and probably kick Goodwin to the bench. He he and Calhoun should su- should somewhat kind of take turns, probably. Him, Calhoun, actually... Um, Goodwin, Calhoun, and Upton should all kind of rotate in the outfield in the two positions. Trout's obviously a starter every day. Shouldn't even have to say that. But, um, yeah, Calhoun and Goodwin, pretty similar similar in talent this year. Calhoun slugs a little more, but his average is lower. Goodwin has a little higher of an average, but he slugs a little less. Um... But Calhoun does play great defense. He's a gold glove in the outfield. So, if anything, I would probably give Calhoun the edge. Um, So, yeah, when Upton comes back, it's most likely going to be Upton, Trout, and Calhoun in the outfield. Goodwin had such a hot start to the season, though. And he's kind of cooled off from there. He's still been great for us, though. Um, And then when Adele comes back... Calhoun's probably going to be gone. I think Adele will come next year and take a starting spot in right field. And then I believe Calhoun's a free agent after this year. Um, Yeah, he should be. So he's probably going to be gone. I doubt the Angels would re-sign him. Um, So looking into the future, it'd probably be Trout, Upton, and Adele in the outfield. Um, And then if Goodwin were to re-sign, he'd probably be a bench player or kind of rotating in versus righties or whatever because he's a left-handed hitter um so yeah that's pretty much the outfield situation let's move to the infield um this is probably what our starting infield should be albert at first well albert i don't know he's he's been solid his let's look at his stats right here his ops his ops is Point seven eight one, which is actually pretty good, uh, two forty one average. So he's pretty much, he's pretty solid. Um, I know people hate him because he gets paid a ton of money, which is obviously sucks that we have to pay him so much. Um, I don't know how much longer he has in his contract too. I think two to three more years. Um, second base, Lostella, he's. Should be an all-star starter by far. He's just been insane for us. Simmons, one of the best shortstop in the game. And then Fletcher, who's nearly an all-star potential. Um, Was that, like, our lineup is just so great. And it will be great in the future, even better. Uh, La Stella, Simmons, Fletcher are just all pretty much all-star potential now. Um, And then first base situation... Albert's getting older. Jared Walsh, I think, is going to be in first. Or Matt Dice, he could be coming up from AAA soon. I think Jared Walsh also actually got called down. Last time I checked, I don't think I saw him on the roster. 